pump. So. Right. Yeah. He seems to that always guy? be throwing up the last shot and it oh, always yeah. misses. Just, it's just like, misses a little bit. Can somebody yeah. else shoot? So. Well, somebody else Porzingis. will shoot. Yeah, now that Great player. So, yeah. See we shall see. We'll see how it goes indeed. Weather-wise today, guys, it's going to be, we'll put that okay. I okay. mean, forget about kind of laying out in the sun. It's going to be too difficult. Uh, Clouds. It's just ha- this sun. hasn't really felt like, I know today's it our hasn't. first real day of summer, but yeah. it hasn't felt like summer weather really all month. Really, it hasn't. Temps, besides those first two days of June, mm. temperatures have been b- many days below normal. Normal, you know, the beginning of the month's like 74. By the end of the month, it's about 80. Uh, so we've seen readings at or below normal many days. Uh, but now we're going to start to introduce some humidity. Not so much today, but that comes in tomorrow. And as we go into this upcoming weekend, with the humidity, that means a lot of moisture. And that is going to lead to shower and thunderstorm chances. But it really is a delightful start to our day. June has been fine on the electric bills, right? We haven't needed a whole lot of AC. And right now we're sitting at 54. We have some sun, we have clouds, but just a pleasant start to our day. We are going to see quite a few clouds around today, but in terms of rainfall, just a couple of spot showers as we go into the afternoon. The bulk of the day today will not be raining, and what comes down will likely be light and it will be spotty. Temperatures will top off near 70 or perhaps lower 70s. And then tonight, maybe a shower or two. The bulk of the night tonight will be dry as well. But notice how your overnight lows are staying in the 60s. That's because the dew points are starting to creep up. And it is going to be turning humid around here. And it's going to be turning rather stormy as well. So it's going to be humid tomorrow into the weekend and probably through the beginning part of next week with dew points running in the 60s to perhaps even near 70. And we're talking about daily shower and thunderstorm chances with the biggest threat being each afternoon, although there will be a couple of morning showers around too. The biggest threat being heavy rain, but there will be some storms. And of course, some of that heavy rain can lead to some isolated flooding concerns. We're not talking about washouts. We're talking more about scattered showers and thunderstorms. That includes Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Dew points in the 40s and 50s, that's not bad. That's fairly dry, and that's going to be the case today. But the dew points go up tonight, and tomorrow dew points are in the 60s, so we'll certainly feel the humidity. That's where they'll stay tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday as well. Dew points will be running in the 60s to near 70 all three days and probably even in the beginning part of next week. So right now we're actually following a weak area of low pressure that's trying to move up against high pressure and it's not doing a very good job of it. It is bringing some clouds in, but notice the rain. It is all just drying up as it approaches the Connecticut shoreline. So we might catch a shower this afternoon, but we're not anticipating a whole lot. After that, it's about an upper level low, a a southerly flow, and that is going to bring in the moisture, that southerly flow, and that upper level low and a stalled out front, that'll help to instigate some showers showers and some thunderstorms. Tomorrow, a couple of showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but a better chance on Saturday. Saturday morning might start with showers. We'll catch a break, a little bit of sun, then afternoon showers and thunderstorms, and then we'll probably repeat that process again on Sunday. So it's not a washout, but it certainly is unsettled. Highs over the weekend likely near 80, and each afternoon scattered showers and storms. Good way to determine what the low dew points are going to be, look at your overnight lows. For example, tomorrow's low is 60. That's because the dew point's near 60. The weekend, dew point 65 to 70. Hence, your overnight lows are right near there. All right, more weather in a few minutes. Amanda and David, back to you.